going on guys? Kevin from TK's Garage 405 here. Uh, figured I'd just show you something out of the norm for me here. Um, we've had some water heater problems at our house here and the plumbers are super busy right now. So a bunch of water, frozen pipes and things like that. So there's a, they're supposed to be here today already, but that's, a, so we haven't had water in about five days. Uh, sorry, not, we haven't had hot water in about five days. We've been showering down at the gym and stuff like that. Um, but I have this little setup here that I use when I'm on the road. Um, so I actually set it up last night to shower because I didn't feel like running down to the gym. So I'll kind of show you guys what it's all about and what the what the deal is with it. And I said I don't usually do like these type of things, but I'll show you just because it's something kind of different and give you guys an idea if you're ever looking for something. Um, so I'll, the kind of what this consists of here is there's four D cells in the, inside this little battery pack here. This is the on off switch. Um, there's a little pump here. This drops into the, a five gallon pail of water or a jug if you have one. Um, and then there's just two quick attach couplers, one on each end there. One's the shower side, one's the suction side. Um, well, I guess the pressure side. There's a little propane bottle on there. Um, they're not designed to be taken off. So it, you hear about them exploding and that's usually because people take them on off on off on off and that's not really what they're designed to be they're supposed to be like a one-time use thing i have taken this off a lot of times i will admit but that's not the right way to do it just telling you guys um the right thing to do probably be get like a five pound tank with an adapter or maybe like a two and a half pound tank with an adapter or something like that to go to the small tank um, i think that would be like a better solution probably what i should have but i don't so so it's a base camp outdoors set up here. Um, it is, let me double check here. It is a Boss XB13 battery operated shower system. On this side, that's the temperature control and the power to turn on the, um, basically turns on the igniter. So how this works is you put the, you put this in the water, you turn the pump on, the, once, it is, once the switch is on over there, the, so you turn the pump on here, you turn the switch on over here, that turns the igniter on and it's based on pressure. So if the, if there's no water going, it won't light the, it won't light the burner. So there has to be water going to it. So, um, the only thing I don't really like about this whole setup is just that there's just, number one, there's no hanger, at least mine didn't come with one to hang it somewhere for the shower head. Um, you can't shut it off without reaching down and grabbing the button over here. So when you're full of soap and everything, you have to physically push down there because this thing actually puts out a surprising amount of water. Like I put uh, probably three quarters of a pail in there yesterday. So, and that's how much water I used. And I was like very quick about it. Like, and I was shutting it off in between. So, you know, you could use five gallons like very quickly. So that's the one thing I don't really like about it, um, but it gets really hot. I recirculate it if the water's cold. I let it recirculate into the pail a little bit because it's an on-demand one. And if it was really ice cold water, the water will be maybe not like really hot. It would be like kind of, it would still be warm, but it wouldn't be like hot. So um, I actually recirculated it last night thinking the water would be really cold and it actually burnt me when it came out. So you can adjust that here, but only so cold. So if you have it too hot in the pail, it's going to be obviously hot coming out of there. So just something to think about there, but yeah, works really good. Um, it's something that something that you can carry with you, I guess, and it's fairly. I don't know. It's it's not compact because because like if you use it in this aspect, the reason I have a five gallon pail is because I did try with one of those portable water jugs, and the pump won't fit into it. Like it won't actually fit into there, and also, if you use if you use the pump inside one of those, you can't just drop it back in. Cause what a lot of people will do is if instead of wasting water and just, or having to shut it off and on, they'll just throw the shower head back into the five gallon pail while they're like rinsing off their hair or you know what I mean? Scrubbing, scrubbing themselves down or whatever. So then they're not sitting there just running the water. Cause like I said, if you had that on that five gallons will be gone pretty quickly. It puts out a lot of water, probably, I don't know, like almost maybe more than it should, but said it does work really good it's just uh just kind of have to know how to use it the one other thing is like uh when i bought this thing amazon um had another brand 
which had a built-in battery pack. Um, and that ran everything like the pump and everything. So it, there was a little less cordage here and uh, I like that it was rechargeable. Didn't have to deal with all that kind of stuff. So there's no batteries in the, in the unit or in the separate pack or whatever. So it, I think it was an overall probably better idea, but it just the reviews were terrible on it. It didn't really seem to be very durable. It didn't really, yeah. They said it heated really good and it would actually, even ice cold water would heat right on demand, but it also had problems with like it wouldn't, the, I don't know, the reviews I think I read on it were basically like it was having issues with, um, having issues with like just durability, how long they'd last for and things like that. And then the batteries would die really quick and just, or not work or whatever. So I, that's the reason I actually went with this particular one. This one was also a lot cheaper. Um, I'd have to ch double check what I paid for it. I think it was around $200, some, somewhere in that ballpark there. So um, I used to use it actually when I had a toter home, I had a sport deck on the back and it just had drains in it. And I would just shower on the back of the sport deck or whatever. I always was going to get one of those portable tents and just set it up and shower it or whatever, but usually I'd just park somewhere in the middle of nowhere or whatever if I was gonna do that. Um, but I did shower lots or I'd shower in shorts or something like that, you know? So, but like I said, truck stops now are $17 if you want to shower on the road and people doing the van life or doing any of that kind of stuff. I mean, you're trying to save money. $17 is a pile of money for a shower. You know, that's, I mean, you could find campsites for that price, right? So I don't like paying that and I want to shower every day because I'm not gross like that. So, so this is kind of what I use if I don't go to a shower house or whatever, then this is kind of it. Um, said it's definitely saves you money in the big picture. Um, I have like a little tote that I carry everything in. This is kind of what I keep everything in. It all tucks in there. You have to be a little bit careful. I have, there's probably a better tote that you could fit it in than this. This is just a chintzy little flexible one. Obviously if it gets hot, you don't want to put it back in there right away. And then my towel that I keep with it and whatnot there, I just, um, especially in the summertime, because it's the bulk of what I use is in the summertime. Um, so I'll just set, drape it over the seat of my truck or something in the summertime and the towel dries out in, you know, 10 minutes and it's really hot just from the sun or whatever. Um, yeah, so that's kind of, and I guess the other things are, you can see there's, there's some caps that came with it here. I just set them here just so I didn't lose them. Um, but the, the caps, so basically when you take those quick couplers off there, you have to tip it on its side, let the water drain out, and then put the caps back on it because otherwise there'll be water in it. And if you take it with you in the winter, like I do, it'll end up freezing up. So I think this would be kind of some interesting tests to do some, you know, like I said, if you were doing some winter type camping, kind of interesting to see how that would work. Um, I, I have used it in the cold and it does work, but you know, like I said, the biggest downfall to it that I could see is that it's space consuming because you have to have a jug of water or access to water. So you could put it like people, I have seen videos of it. I haven't tried it myself, but I've seen people just putting the pump into like a river or something, for example, or creek or whatever, and then just using it to shower that way, which I could see that being pretty handy. Um, I've seen people use it just uh, to fill up like you know, for washing dishes. I actually think, I don't remember if it's this brand, I know Coleman makes a brand of them too. And I, I believe one of these two brands makes an adapter. So it's just like a faucet basically, which is kind of nice too, because then, you know, you, if you are just maybe tent camping or something like that, um, even though it does take up space, that does give you a little durability. You could just maybe grab a pail of water from the river or whatever, just to wash your dishes off or whatever. So there's a little, little bit of durability in it that way but like I said I just bought this one just strictly to use it for a shower but I could see there being a lot of different uses for it it does like I said it gets I mean if you have it cranked up and especially if you recirculate that water ahead of time a little bit it doesn't take long and I mean two minutes you've had that pail recirculated and it's already warm so if you were to do that and then use it for dishes or something it would probably be like like yesterday when I recirculated it like I don't even think it was on for two minutes circulating there and when I had it on high and I jumped in the shower, it was literally like so hot, it was actually burning me. I couldn't even get in it. So I had to get back out, turn it down. But like I said, when you're showering with it, that's another downfall is like when you wanna 
try to actually shut it off, you have to reach down and touch that red button. So if you're covered in soap and things like that, so unless you're going to throw it back in the pail, that's kind of the downside. So I think it's, I think it's a good tool, like I said, for just kind of what I'm using it for and maybe just some, some camping or whatever, but there's, you know, a person could find some different uses for it, but yeah, I just kind of want to show you guys what it was there or whatever, and uh, you can do a little research on it yourself. And anyways, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.